Hey guys, welcome back. I got another one for you really quick. So um, I've been thinking about this lately. And so there's a lot of talk um, among the rich. And what I mean by the rich, I'm talking the rich, like the really rich, those who are basically, and so as far as wealth, transparency and kind of levels of wealth, right? We have those who live in poverty, which are below the, basically below the poverty line, right? We've got the blue middle class, white collar, whatever middle middle of the road every you know worker bees right those of us who go to work every day and you know pay our taxes then we've got the wealthy um those who basically you know have a net worth of a million i'd say up to you know 35 million dollars right you're considered wealthy you got 35 million you don't have to work but you probably own a business or you choose to work great awesome those who are ultra wealthy like tens of millions like 30 36 million and above are known as the ultra wealthy guys these are the people that are highly in love with bitcoin these are the people that these institutions are focusing their energy on to get into the bitcoin space they're the ones who are receiving phone calls from their advisors those who basically you know they're on a golf course somewhere they get a phone call hey we got this new asset it's literally the most talked about asset in the history of the last 15 years there's nothing that comes close they're gonna sure you know give me give me you know allocate one percent to this thing and then we'll reevaluate in a month click they go back to playing their game right guys these are the people who are literally in love with bitcoin these ultra wealthy individuals are the ones that have a higher risk appetite because all the majority of their portfolio they have the alternative assets they have a my gosh probably 30 40 percent allocation to these higher risk portfolios because everything else in the market is considered saturated right the the real estate market and the equity markets like those markets are absolutely saturated everyday you know blue collared workers are the ones now kind of getting smarter to, oh, I need to get some passive income, right? I need to get this different stream. So they do, they take out debt, they buy a second or third property, they put a renter in there, and now they're building equity within that property. Great way to make money. Guys, that is not the way to make money anymore. If you want to make money, again, I talk about generational wealth for you and your families, you need to look at what the wealthy are doing, like in the ultra wealthy. Those who still are in the one million to you know thirty-five million dollar bracket, they're not getting phone calls. They're not the ones that are getting called by their technical advisors or the ones that are the ultra wealthy advisors um, saying, "Hey, you need to get into this space." They're not getting any phone calls. Like that's a big deal. And so, any asset class that's new, typically you're going to get the ultra wealthy. They gobble it up and then they kind of start trickling down to. It's been around long enough, right? to the next kind of asset tier management, which is, you know, still considered wealthy if you've got, you know, $35 million, but it'll go to them and then next it'll trickle down to us, right? The worker bees, those who are <clears throat> maybe, you know, small business owners or nine to fivers. <clears throat> Once they open it up to us guys, they've already got their bags full, right? And so I want you to start thinking about this get in now get in early if you don't own bitcoin again not financial advice but this is what i'm doing start allocating a percentage of your portfolio to get some okay those of you and i think about this too if you're in a, if you're i don't want to say you're in a class but you're in a certain you know sphere of assets and you want to move up in a sense you want to get to you know, say, say you are living below the poverty line and you're like, this sucks. I don't want to be here anymore. Allocate some funds so you can get yourself out of that into the next, um, I'm going to say tax bracket, get yourself into the next tax bracket. It's not, it's not wrong to be paying, paying higher taxes. It just simply means you're taking in more, uh, you're making more income. Right. And so guys, just, I, I really, 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 really want to see more people in this space so that there's not just the ultra wealthy, not just the wealthy that hold this, you know, absolutely fine asset that is so finite. Um, so again, I'll stop the video here. But again, if you, if you want to do something for yourself, your friends, your family, 
If you're already in Bitcoin, keep telling other friends and family. Stay humble and keep stacking. If you're not in this space, continue to do your homework until you're at a comfortable level, understanding that this is the most finite, hard asset on the planet. Get yourself some, whatever you can afford, and then keep teaching yourself. And then from there, if your friends or family don't know about it, let them know, okay? This is going to be something that you're going to look at in four years, eight years. I, honestly, I, I have no idea where this thing's going to go in the next four to eight years. It's going to be probably jaw-dropping, the, the price of it. So, all right, guys, I hope that this helps. I hope that it kind of paints an urgency in you to make a decision to do something. Get off of zero. All right, guys, have a great day. Chat soon.